Day two of jury selection in Donald Trump's hush money criminal trial here in New York and still not one juror has been seated. They got a bit of a late start yesterday on day one in terms of jury selection. At the end of that day, they were whittling down from 96 to less than 10. Um, as of the mid-morning time here on Tuesday, uh, there were about 10 jurors potential jurors who had made it through the jury questionnaire, some 42 questions that asked everything from where they get their media and their news from to you know whether they've read Donald Trump books or Michael Cohen's book to whether they have attended pro-Trump rallies or anti-Trump rallies. Uh, right now, we're talking about a dozen people who have made it through that jury questionnaire. And, and what we know about is that they range in age from people who are in their 20s and 30s to people who have kids who are adults, people who are native New Yorkers and people who are not. Uh, some people who work as waiters or salespeople, others who work in cybersecurity, others who are lawyers. So really a wide range of different demographics. One thing that keeps coming up, though, is there are many people who are quick to say they cannot be fair and impartial. And yet you have people like one man who said he had read multiple of Donald Trump's books, including The Art of the Deal, saying that there was nothing standing in his way from being fair and impartial. So this process will continue to play out for days, possibly weeks. The goal here to get 12 people here in New York who say they can be fair and impartial to sit on this jury, plus six alternates in order for this trial to continue forward. We'll keep you updated.